Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about how to calculate sample size for two sample t test using Minitab. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more videos related to Lean Six Sigma. What is sample size? Sample size is the number of individual samples or observations in any statistical setting used in a survey or experiment. Too small a sample yields unreliable results, while an overly large sample demands a good deal of time and resources. In research study, sample size calculation plays an important role for assuring validity, accuracy, reliability, and integrity of the intended study. Use power and sample size for two sample t to examine the relationship between power, sample size, and the difference when you want to compare the difference between two population means. For example, a process engineer wants to compare the mean plating thickness between machine 1 and 2. We will learn how to calculate sample size for two sample t test using Minitab software. Let us take an example. A product developer is interested in reducing the heating time of an oven. Two types of the ovens are tested, type 1 is the standard oven. And type 2 has a new feature that should reduce the drying time. The two sample average drying times are mu equals 131 minutes and mu equals 126 minutes, respectively. We want to reject null hypothesis if the new oven reduces mean drying time. Suppose that if the true difference in drying times is as much as 5 minutes with sigma of 2.45, we want to detect this with probability at least 0.90 with 95% confidence level. The null hypothesis is the mean drying times for standard oven is same as new feature oven. The alternate hypothesis is mean drying time is not same between standard oven and new feature oven. The significance level is 0.05, the power is 0.9 and standard deviation is 2.45, the delta or difference is 5. Choose stat, power and sample size, 2 sample t. In the pop-out, fill in differences, power and standard deviation. In the alternate hypothesis, select not equal. Enter 0.05 for significance level. Click OK. Use the power curve to assess the appropriate sample size or power for your test. In summary, the sample size needed to detect this difference with a power of 0.9 is 7. What if the power increased from 0.9 to 0.95? What is the sample size required? Let's change the power from 0.9 to 0.95 in Minitab. The sample size increased from 7 to 8 when the power increased from 0.9 to 0.95. What if the difference is reduced from 5 to 1? What is the sample size required? Let's change the difference from 5 to 1 in Minitab. The sample size increased from 8 to 157 when the difference reduced from 5 to 1. Larger sample sizes are required to detect very small differences between the hypothesized and actual values of the population parameter. For a fixed level of alpha equals 0.05 and power of 0.95, reducing the difference from 5 to 1 will increase the sample size from 8 to 157. There are four factors that affect the sample size, which are level of significance, alpha, expected size of the effect. The standard deviation of the hypothesized effect size and power. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.